Has there been other members? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Dan Ryan, Palmer Board uh, Member, Past President. Happy to be here. Thanks for coming out. Um, so it's my privilege to uh, present the Institutional Award to Marist College, and specifically their um, Environmental Science and Policy Department, led by Dr. Zion Klaus, Dr. Richard Feldman. They use the Hudson River Watershed to educate and inspire. They provide students with skill sets and real world, real world experiences to solve local environmental issues using watersheds as living classrooms. Much of their work is focused on the Fall Kill and Wapinger Creek, including projects on trash hotspots and cleanups, microplastics, septic systems, and nutrient pollution, and basic species and flooding. That's right, the Fall Kill has it. The environmental science department teaches students to communicate science and work with local partners. Very important. They don't do this work in a vacuum, right? Uh, those partners include uh, the Fall Kill Watershed Coalition, Community Matters 2, Scenic Hudson, the City of Poughkeepsie, and others. These mutually supported collaborations provide students with valuable experience and provide local partners with capacity and support. And on a personal note, I'd like to say that um, some of you know that I worked on the Fall Kill for many years, about a decade ago. Um, and it just it warms my heart to know that, that folks at Marist College are continuing that work and are, are you know, into the future will keep working on the Fall Kill, which if you don't know is an often forgotten creek, overlooked creek, right? That needs, that needs the support of, of a college and, and the community. Um, another shout out is to give to two students I just met outside, Emma and Carly, who do a lot of this work, who are here tonight. Big round of applause for them. Two things I learned that really, again, warm my heart are, one, they're actually using the reports I made 10 years ago, which is amazing, <laughs> exciting to me. So just like, ah, you're, you're, I'm going to take a selfie with Emma outside. And um, that they actually did a stream walk of the Fall Kill through downtown Poughkeepsie, which I'll tell you I've done, and it's part of its underground and tunnels. It is not for the thing part. So give another round of applause to the students. Uh, so that's it. Thanks for that, guys. Zion, Richard, and um, yeah, accept your award. Well deserved. The Marist Brothers were responsible for establishing Marist College, and they had an unwritten motto of doing good things quietly. I want to acknowledge one of my former colleagues who did a lot of good work quietly. Some of you may remember Tom Lynch, who did a lot of work on both the Fall Kill and Rockefeller's Creek. But in more recent times, our cover has been removed thanks to Emma Butzler, who nominated us for this award. And Emma doesn't do things quietly. And, and consequently, uh, although many things at Marist still are done quietly and good work gets done, um, because of Emma's excellent leadership in, in pursuing the work on the Fall Kill, she had a Polgar Fellowship that uh, introduced her to the full length of the Fall Kill, and she did her research project that then led to another idea that she brought to me to do for a, a Catherine project. And, and I basically followed her lead. And my, my point is, we're, we're no longer doing things quietly. Um, there's, there's extensive work going on uh, by our students, and the other important factor is that I have a relatively new colleague who in four short years has made extensive contacts throughout the, the Hudson River Warship. He's interacted with, with many of you, and, and Zion Klaus is another reason why, well, we're doing good things not so quietly any longer. Zion. I'll just add a few things. Um, so, yes, I am newer to the region, but what has been so inspiring and why I love being a faculty at Marist is the students. Uh, I'm the hydrologist there, and I work with this amazing set of young people that come to me with their interest in how they want to protect the environment, 
uh, and I pair them up with my own specialties and the specialties of many of you, many of these partner organizations, and the needs of the communities that we're working with, and we find some project that interests them and can address these needs from the community. And through that, not only do we to help me hopefully provide some data to help solve some of these issues, but provide a great experience for these students uh, that will help them move their career forward. And I'm just going to take one last minute of your time because I want to introduce Emma Butzler and Carly Pircha directly. Emma really wants to speak about how this has taken her career forward and what she's now going to be doing with her life ahead in the world of water. I truly believe that the vision and the dedication of the leaders of a program trickles throughout a program, and that can be seen through Zion and Dr. Feldman and the successes of all of his students. They have truly inspired me in so many ways that they don't even know. Um, but through all of the opportunities that they both have given me, and the internships, the research, the cafe, um, and just advice and guidance in general, um, I have grown as a researcher and a student, gained a lot of confidence, and so I decided I would like to pursue a PhD, continuing my work with research, um, and combining the policy, the education, and the collaboration with communi communities, focusing on flooding, which is so interesting that I think you bring up uh, flooding being an issue here in the Hudson Valley, so maybe four years I'll come back um, and work on that problem too. But. Um, I want to end with the fact that um, I truly think Zion and Dr. Feldman are great and they're doing great things in the Hudson Valley and they're doing the most important work which is inspiring the next generation of future environmental change makers. So thank you for everything and Carly. Thank you.